How's it going, everybody? TrinfinitX here. Back with some more Majora's Mask 100%. So, today, today is the final day. We shall achieve 100%, and the fierce deity shall descend, and we shall destroy Majora. We have some rupees. Oh, that's not happened before. Must have slowed down near the ledge or something. All should be well. There are only two heart pieces left, at least here on the earth. And they are both in the Great Bay. I think the Great Bay is actually slowly becoming one of my favorite areas. Just because it looks nice compared to the other regions. Anyway, we're gonna need the Zora mask. And also, this music is better than the dreary music we get in other places. This isn't this from Yeah, oh my gosh, isn't this from like a, a link to the past? And a link between worlds? That's like the uh the underground the underground theme. Huh. So it's... Uh. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. No. Okay. 
All right, so we got to play the tune for him here. What are these drums he has? Are these like live fish he's using as drums? Sure, what do you got? Well, yeah, like, what are these drums he's got here? Huh. Okay. Well, apparently you're not the right person to talk to. Hold on. I'm gonna go find the right person. This is another reference. Yeah, that's another reference to 2D Zelda. Also, that's a nice little lamp he's got there on his desk. He's got an angler on the... Dang. Really is becoming my favorite place quick. Is he the one I have to play the music for? There we go. We just have to play what we learned. Okay. I don't know, I kinda like the tune he's playing. Ah, uh, all those other Zoras just disappeared. Disappeared real quick. Well now I'm curious what the other guys are gonna play. Well, what the other guy is.
this? Is this a Zelda tune? It doesn't sound like one. Or is it? I can't. I don't know. I see. Okay, so the other Zoras do kind of know what's up. Well, it's the members of the band. Interesting. And then there's this guy. Uh -huh. And then there's this pervert. But anyway. We've already been in here. This is supposedly our room. Or Lulu's room, rather. Unfortunately, he did something rash, and now we're wearing his face. Boy, that's creepy. All right. But anyway, I'm like, where's my heart piece though? That's my question. Do I have to go back in here and play the whole thing for this guy? Uh... Oh wait, no, I have to play it for the other guy. For Evan. Oh, I got so distracted. Talking about what everybody knows, but. So, let's. Let's see. Is that right? No. Dang it. There we go.
Wait, what? Where's my heart piece? What do I gotta do? What did I, what did I mess up? I played him the song. Do I have to go back and talk to this guy, I guess? I don't know. Oh, that's right. This guy doesn't talk unless you play the song. What? What am I doing wrong? Sorry, give me a minute. So far, I thought I've done everything right. That's okay. Wow. Boy, what a detail. You have, I have to play it on my ocarina. That's okay. That's incredibly specific. Let's see. And of course, you'll think it's genius if it isn't coming from... If it's not coming from, uh, from, uh, his band. Okay. That's what he meant by he's, oh yeah, because he's he's too prideful. He probably won't let anyone else try it. Ah ha ha. Okay, unless it's again coming from someone that's not his band. All right. Ah uh ha. -huh. That's a pretty good song. I just made up. He's one of those people. You gotta lead him to think that he came up with it himself. All right. Wait, oh, is this the shop? Yeah, this is the shop. So, the next thing we need to do... So we actually need to go to Great Bay Temple and beat uh, Georg again. So, 
that's going to involve getting some equipment. Come here, fairy. Okay. Full health, full magic. That should be enough. Also, I love how the whole temple looks like a fish. Anyway. Um... I don't think slowing down time is going to be necessary, really. But I think I will anyway. It's just a good safety strat, you know? Okay. Well, after playing that, yeah, after play, playing that other song, I can't, I can now no longer remember uh, New Wave Bossa Nova. So, excuse me while I do a refresher course on that. if that's supposed to I wonder if that's supposed to connect to uh, to the other melody we learned Off to Great Bay. Got to clean up Georg again. Do I have enough arrows? 30? Yeah, 30 should be enough. say this is not a fight you want to redo too often I mean it's not that hard I guess it takes less patience than uh, the raging bull up in snowhead but still he can get you and drag you under be annoying if you if you're not careful Okay. I'm trying to go, but I can't see or turn, apparently. Oh, oh no, no, no. Get up. Okay. That's actually not that uh not that dangerous. Hi Avalon, how's it going? Light arrows? I'll try them. Do light arrows go through the water? They do. Okay. Cool. How 
How was your weekend? Less frustrating than mine was, I hope. Oh. Oh, it came out. Stabilizing your sleep. Yeah, I wish that was something I could do. Does he actually die in less hits if I use light arrows over regular ones? Uh, oh, that's gonna, yeah. As soon as I bonked, I knew that was gonna cost me. It's fine. Uh, let's not. Okay. I was about to say, it's probably too late. And Zora. So, how, how have you, uh... How's it been going, stabilizing your sleep? been able to pull that off also that was a good jump oh he jumped again all right he doesn't seem to be dying in less hits Like, despite using light arrows. I mean, I didn't use the light arrow on the very first shot, but... Huh. So did you stabilize your sleep, Avalon? I'm I'm now actually curious somewhat. That's fair. The time delay is shorter now. Oh, well, that's good. My time to let yeah. I I guess so. I I'm not doing anything different. It must it must be Twitch. That's that's all I can say to that. Twitch is weird like that. So four seconds. Wow. Jeez, was the delay that bad? Man. I mean, sometimes there's gonna be delay because I don't know what to say, but like, I would hope it's not that bad all the time. Jeez. Anyway, I'm curious about this song. About like all, like what they play here. Wow, that is a noticeable difference. I'm actually curious about what they play here. Oh, it is the song that we... It is the... Yeah, this is the song that we just learned for the heart piece. <laughs> oh, 
I would say that's better than the... Oh. Similar to a song from Earthbound, huh? All right. Interesting. Because, like, I went into the the different rooms in order to learn the, uh, the little song for the heart piece, to learn that melody, and, like, the, the, the guy on the drums was playing something from, uh, Link to the Past, and so was, uh, the guy with the other guitar, and then I couldn't recognize the tune, the tune that the guy on the, uh, the keys was playing. Well, I mean, because I, I say keys light, and I, I say keys loosely, because, you know, like fishbone keys or something, and not a regular piano. And I couldn't recognize it, because it, it didn't sound like it was from uh, A Link to the Past. Maybe it was from Earthbound or something. Anyway... So, hey Avalon, have you ever had anybody, like, where you're trying to make a point, and then they... And then they effectively, like, quote a bunch of statistics to prove you wrong. And then you try to mention that you've, uh, you try to mention that you've got, that you have, like, some personal experience in the matter. And then they attribute your experience to luck to disprove you. After they literally just cried results, results. just like, you know, here's why you're wrong, all these results, but then he's like, well, I have results too, but but your results are luck. And it's, it's like, what? So, but yours weren't? You know, it's just kind of messed up. A 99% chance can come back with the 1% on the first time. <laughs> A 50% chance can repeat itself hundreds of times and only ever or come out one way. Yeah, that's possible. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I had some friends do that to me this weekend, and it was just like, it's like, seriously? You're going to say your results are definitely proof that things are, that, you know, what I said was wrong, but then you, when I try to say my results, you're going to say they were random chance. Really? <laughs> it was just kind of annoying. Oh. Radiant Dawn, huh? That's actually... Yeah, Radiant Dawn is Ike's game. That's actually one of the few Fire Emblems I've been thinking about getting into. Oh. 
17 failed a 17% chance 23 times. Wow. Oh, play Path of Radiance first. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Well, first I need to play uh, Epona's song here. No. No, that's not right. There we go. Man, I played that badly. <laughs> Oh, wow. Really? You can transfer the one save, the save from one to the other? How? How do you do that? Those are GameCube games, aren't they? Well, I mean, I guess they would both be on the same memory card, so one could detect the other, maybe? Ah, no. Ah, that's the wrong thing you jumped over, Epona. And I can't control camera, as usual. Come on. Ah, okay. Interesting. There we go. I am only entering Great Bay from Termina because the guide said I had to do that in order to in order to actually uh, get the boat to appear that I'm trying to go for here down down hi sandman 477 How's it going? Carries over support levels up? Wow. So basically, you just get to carry over all your levels from, uh... From Path of Radiance to Radiant Dawn, huh? Oh, it's the only way to get certain endings for certain... For certain characters? Wow, really? So you have to own the previous game, or you can't get all you can't get them all wow that's that's a little unusual for Nintendo They couldn't fit that much game in, yeah. That wouldn't surprise me, honestly. They had so much planned but couldn't do it all in one game. That, that sounds right. Anyway, this is the last heart piece on, uh, on Termina that I have to get. Oh, it's the last one you got to? All right. Okay. <laughs> one more time. This guy's the same voice as the guy from the... <sighs> from the shooting galleries. All right. Light torches, in particular order. Jump to island with light torch. Twenty or more. Twenty rupees per try. Okay. Ah, 
Ah, uh, no! Ah! Uh. Oh, yeah, if you fall, then that's that. You have to try again. I see. Thanks, game. Okay. This is gonna take some serious camera aligning, is what this is. Oh, oh, I don't have to talk to him. I just have to go back to there. Okay. Okay. Also, in a particular order, huh? Is it the same order each time? No, it isn't. Oh my gosh, they really love to make it the one that you're not facing. I've gotta score 20 of these. I've gotta see them first. Man, they really want it to be the one that's like off screen so you can't see it. Oh, dang it. And they do change it on you. Uh, if you're not quick enough. That's mean. Oh my gosh, seriously? I can't keep up with it. I'm also having a hard time seeing the actual flame. Like, see, why that one? Oh my gosh. Somehow this game's got my number. I'm obviously not gonna make it this time, but... Uh, oh, wow. That was close. I'm gonna wait for that one to change. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, don't scare me like that, Link. Ah, oh, that was stupid. I readjusted my camera and jumped at the wrong angle. Huh. Okay. This is maybe a little more challenging than I thought. But it seems like just a... Just a matter of getting used to it. What? Hey, Link! <laughs> what was that, Link? <laughs> nope. What would, oh my gosh. He didn't, he just decided not to jump. Cool. Cool. Okay. That was, both of those attempts were dumb. What was that? Also, this camera. Now it's there. Okay. I thought I could rely on the sound. Not quite. Also, somehow, I'm doing reasonably well, not adjusting my view. Maybe I shouldn't try to talk so much while I do this. so close. That was very close to falling off. Oh, 
Okay. I've got in more than enough now, so I can just take my time. In fact, I'm very tempted to just not do any more in a second. Yeah. We got 24. I'm gonna call that a clutch finish. I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't want to take a chance and fall into the ocean again. All right. Clutched it out on the last one. Took some getting used to, but I got it. No problem. Oh, okay. So, with that, we just have the final heart pieces to go. So, back to Clock Town. Actually, I... Ooh, you know what? Actually, I might need some money. That's okay, I can fix that. I'm gonna earn some money for a bit here. he could see the sword on my back and just let me through. <sighs> I'm gonna earn some money real quick because I want to get some uh, some milk, some high quality milk for the final boss, final boss fight. Because last time I did this I didn't have infinite magic. I would like to have that this time. Also, that was a ton of money I just got right there. These guys dropping 50 rupees each when you hit them with light arrows is actually really convenient. For basically anything you might want. And then they respawn, too. So nice. And back to full magic. Okay. So. Let's go inside and get ourselves some milk. Oh, that's the wrong building. We can buy milk on the first night, right? Pretty sure.
Yeah, Chateau. 200 rupees for this. Wow. There we go. I'm glad I farmed those extra rupees. I didn't realize it was 200. But then again, I guess it is like infinite magic, so I guess I guess that makes sense. Does it say that? Lasting stamina for your magic power. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, I got one of those. Let's see. How how broken can we get? For the finale here. Just how broken can we get? I mean, I'm sure the answer is plenty broken, but... Let's go ahead and, uh become even more broken. Just a little bit. See, that guard knows to let us out. Get another one of these. Ooh, he almost got me. Okay, and now... I'm going to collect myself a fairy and a blue potion. Maybe two fairies, just because I can. Not because I suspect I'll need them. Not even close. Having already done this once, I'm almost certain I, would, I won't be needing even one fairy, but just in case. I mean, fairies are just always one of those things that are just like, but why not have one or two? So I've got a blue potion, I've got uh, milk, the Chateau Romani, and one and one fairy. I might grab another fairy, but after that, like I don't even, six bottles is just so much. I don't even need these, I don't even need the four I'm gonna fill, but might as well be OP. I mean, since they gave us six bottles, may as well.
Let's see. I'll just go back to Sora King. it before I could swipe it. No, ah, uh, okay. Well. I wanna see, is the music the same? Like the overworld music in this area the same after I, after I beat the boss? Shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, okay. So it plays the nice, happy uh, Hyrule, Hyrule Field theme after you beat the boss. Or a Termina Field theme. Okay. That's fair. Dull, dreary music before you beat the boss, and then happier music after you succeed. Fair enough. Okay, this time. Wait, that, that is some catch range on that bottle. Like, that fairy was running for the tree, and I caught it anyway. I wish I could sort these bottles. But... Yeah, there's no way to sort. That just bothers me a little. Triggers my OCD, I guess. But meh. It's not that big a deal. Um, you know what? Briefly, though, it might be nice to get some free bomb chews. Put Sora mask on, please. Thank you. Jump down, please. Thank you. Ah. Just gonna get some free bomb chews from this chest. I wish there was a command for jump. Like, to jump out of the water, I wish I didn't have to, like, hold up, but rather just... Like, do a command to get it. I'll take these. I'm gonna stock up on like everything that I might need. Even though, again, I'm reasonably certain I'm not going to really need much. Just because it might be nice to have some sticks, some nuts. That'll do. Just a few. All right.
Time to go to Clock Town and head to the moon. So we are easily over prepared, in all honesty. Why is my map not active? Where's my Clock Town map? That's weird. I should have a map for Clock Town in the bottom right. Why is it not there? Eh. Let's pass some time. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna go get a little more money and buy some more bomb chews. Just because I can. This five isn't very many. If you get a perfect spin attack there. You can get a 20 rupees plus some extras. And that 20 rupees just keeps coming back too. This is a great way to farm money in the early game. But you have to be good with the sword. Which is more challenging than it seems sometimes. All right. Dawn of the final day. over here. Grab the 50 rupees because I can, and let's do some shopping. For some reason, I don't have the Clock Town map, even though I definitely, definitely have it. That's odd. Anyway, bomb shop is up here. Just gonna grab some bomb chews, and then final boss time. The deity shall descend. 40 rupees, no problem. All right. So we are easily over prepared now for the final boss here. Two fairies, a blue potion, Chateau Romani, plenty of bombs, bomb chews, arrows. This is more than I had going in on my 100% playthrough. So... The only thing is, we have to get the heart pieces while we're up on the moon. So, here we go.
We gotta fulfill our promise. To the mask salesman in here. Who's still standing in here. I've been waiting forever. Also, oh, maybe I should turn off inverted. That's a good point. Don't want to end up waiting forever. Back to normal. Just grabbing a few rupees. Just chilling out just a tiny bit before the final boss here. Nice even hundred rupees just cuz. Okay. We're just waiting for the final boss anyway. Just a few more minutes and we'll be able to we'll be able to get in and we'll be ready to get in. I am going to stand right here. We have our hook shot. We have Basically everything we need here. Actually, the first thing we're going to need is Goron Mask, because that's faster. Just waiting a few minutes for the door to open to the final boss. This is it. This is actually a good chance for me to review. Make sure I know where all the heart pieces are. First one doesn't seem so complicated. The second one, on the other hand, one looks like it sucks to get. Okay. That's what I'm going to need the guide for. If there's any part of this I'm going to need... Yeah. If there's any part of this I'm going to need the guide for, it's going to be this one. I 
Again, I really wish I could just control what time I warp to. Like, if I could just play this song of double time and just, like, be like, uh, I want to go to this day at this time. That would probably be better than just whole days. It's coming closer. If you look very closely, you can actually see the pixels moving. It is actually drawing closer. Ever so slowly. All right, this is it. Also, that must have, like, reloaded the area, because it gave me the, the little heart that was there. So, final check. How do I play the Oath? Yeah, the Oath to Order. Because you only play it twice. When you learn it, and now. This is... Okay, it's pretty simple. All right. Hey there, Majora. <laughs> Meanwhile, Majora is still surprised that we're not Deku. That we're not a Deku scrub right now. As you wish. Ah, whoops. Pressed A. Such an underrated song. One of the best in this game, but it doesn't hardly get played. Surprise, Majora! You shouldn't mess with a guy who can time travel. Although, to be fair, I don't think we knew we could do that when we first did this fight. Or maybe we did. And now the titans come. To clip through the walls. I 
honestly wonder if the guy who did Attack on Titan never played Majora's Mask growing up. And now, we shall push the moon back without touching it. For some reason, like, I don't understand why Nintendo couldn't have had their hands touching the... Yeah, ESP giants, I, I guess. Like, why couldn't Nintendo have had them touching the... Like, here in the cutscene... Yeah, here, right here, it looks like they're sort of touching the moon here. Huh. Maybe that's a product of the game being rushed. Like, they just didn't have time to work on the cutscene that much. The fairies reunite happily... <laughs> Finally, the great evil reveals itself. Then it drools on Majora, and then Majora goes up into the moon and possesses the moon, I suppose. Why do that? <laughs> oh no, you've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. <laughs> I won't do it. You go by yourself. I'm staying with Tail. I'll go. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't be a scaredy cat, uh, Tattle. You guys are really stupid. <laughs> so, you know, honestly, I'm surprised Nintendo didn't give us both fairies at this point. That probably would have been better. Anyway. You know something? I did it with... I did it with Twin Mold. Is there anything at the end of the world here? No. Just in it. See, this is what I was expecting when I did it with Twin Mold. When I ran off the edge with Twin Mold, I was expecting there'd be an invisible wall, but instead it warps you back to the beginning of the dungeon. That was a, a surprise, to say the least. Okay. 
So sadly, we have to say goodbye to some masks. Well, some of them are sad and others are not really missed that much. We will get rid of the most useless ones first. Will you be a mask salesman? Huh, interesting question. Still watching your calories pretty tight, huh? You know, salesmen normally sell masks, not just give them away. Oh, I have all masks, of course. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna need the Deku mask. I'm gonna say hookshot because... And probably bow, only I'd probably do that. Okay. So, in order to get 100%, I have to get all the heart pieces in here, too. No, count. How many do you have before coming into the... Oh. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four by... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 20 plus the transformation mask. So that's 23. 23 total masks coming into... The moon. Um... And yeah, and the 20, and of course the 24th is the Fierce Deity. Almost like hours in a day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, I gotta get these heart pieces though. It ain't over. Go over here. Let's get a little closer to that because I don't feel comfortable with our distance. Now, thankfully, this heart piece is actually pretty easy to get from what I've seen. Yeah, this one's not difficult at all. The one that appears to be really challenging is the Goron one. That one looks like a pain to get, in all honesty. I can hardly believe I actually made that. So, Avalon, have you seen the... I may have mentioned this before, but have you seen the crazy glitch that the, uh, the speedrunners found They to where they can basically warp from the, uh, the Deku Palace to the moon? They found a wrong warp in this game that lets them beat the game in like 20 minutes. It's really crazy. The speed run for this game is so short now. Literally, just like Ocarina, it's like 20 minutes. So silly. Is this the part where I have to give him more masks? I forget. Yeah, the 100% speedrun of this game is a, a better watch. Can 
Can I ask a question? Okay, last time I didn't pay attention to this text. Your friends, what kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? The game tries to get pretty deep and philosophical. Which, you know, is fine. It just sort of comes out of nowhere. <laughs> ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you yeah, have a lot. Will you be a mask salesman? All right, what masks to get rid of next? The Keaton mask, this mask, this mask, yeah, these. Try to get rid of the useless masks first. Okay, so this is where things are gonna get challenging. The heart piece in this room looks to be kind of a pain. I almost need to see, I almost need to see it again exactly what I'm doing here. And I have to remember that bouncing off of these chests here requires me to not press any buttons. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like he basically goes almost to the end here. Oh. I wasn't far back enough. Uh, okay. Well, fine. This is uh, this is actually the room where they warp to, if I'm not mistaken, in the moon. Okay. So don't. Oh. Ah. Uh, I pressed up. That's right. I was holding up. I was holding up. My mistake. Uh, also, that's not very well aligned, is it? Er, I don't know if I like that either. You have to be so precise. These chests bounce you perfectly without you having to hold any directions. That f messed me up so bad. First time I did this, that the chests just kind of work without me having to do anything. No, ah, I didn't turn enough. I can already tell this is gonna be fun. Loads of fun. Will this work? Subtlety indeed. There's the heart piece up there on that ledge, I see it. Speedrunners have a much more convenient way of getting it. Ah, no, 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 ah. Maybe I just, sh you know what? Maybe I should have stopped after that one. Or something, I don't know. Okay, I know the part that I'm getting to. So let me just see 
how far I have to go past that. Make that jump. Make another jump. And then stop. Okay. So I'm pretty close. Pretty close. Just gotta be patient. Goron controls are pretty tight. Like, ah, like that wasn't it. At least they're not damaging me for falling off the edge. Like they're not, it's not costing me any hearts or anything to try this. I'm honestly gonna say it, like that's one of my biggest complaints about this game is that the controls for Goron are incredibly hard to master. Like even the swimming controls for Zora aren't as bad as, aren't as bad as, uh, as this is. The Goron roll, it's a great idea. It just needs better controls than they were able to provide it in the N64 era. It just, N64 was just not set up for this level of precision needed for this. Oh uh, no. I was afraid of overturning. I Yeah, I turned early and then was afraid of overturning and man, this could take a few tries. I don't remember how many tries it took me on my 100% run, though. It must have taken a dozen more just because I couldn't figure out that I didn't need to guide myself at all. The chests bounce you perfectly at a 90 degree angle for some reason. Oh, I made it, I made it. No, 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 ah. And then I overcorrected, of course. I just need to make that second jump there. It's literally two jumps that I have to guide myself. I could really wish that that was an actual curve and not and not just a sharp set of corners. That would probably be helpful. Uh-oh. Oops. Well, guess where we're going. Well, at least it lines me up perfectly. That was nice of them. Uh, uh, that happens to me every time. Oh my gosh, what just, why did you not roll? Ugh. This could, like I said, this could take a minute. I really don't understand why they needed to, why they felt the need to make this so obnoxious. I tried to, ah. Uh. I tried to turn, it wouldn't let me. Incredible. I've got to figure out the timing for the turn. I'm trying to do small corrections and it's not working. So it's just gonna be turn at a certain time, I guess. Yeah, and not be afraid of the turn. 
Ugh. This is so bad. Come on. Okay, don't be afraid of the turn. Uh, okay, that somehow worked. That somehow worked. Please get across. Okay, thank you. Done. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, now what does the guide do from here? I'm I am unashamedly going to follow this guide very precisely for this. Cuz I do not want to mess around. Hold on. It goes across this. He gives himself like plenty of time. Lines up carefully. Goes across. And it looks like it's automatic from here it appears to be automatic from here as long as I don't mess this up okay so it's just one single hidden path here all right there we go there we go got it so now, so now how does he finish? Oh, he just doesn't show it. Okay, fine. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, can I go that way? Well, I can if I set myself up right. Take that magic, thank you. So I got the, I got that heart piece. That's, like I said, that's probably the right one. Cause if I'm not mistaken, the Zora one is just pick the right direction. And it just works, I think. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine because I have the heart piece now, so I literally just have to make it to the end, and that's it. Ah, uh, I probably should have just uncurl, just unfurled there. go calm and patient calm and patient learn that the camera does not necessarily turn with link oh whoops uh oh I uh, may have cut that a little short oops And there's definitely no way across that without Goron. That sucks. Also, wait, is that the end right there? Yeah, so if that's the end right there... What? Hold up. Can I just shortchange this whole thing? I am certainly not, right? Certainly not. I can't just shortcut this whole thing, can I? Well, be careful not to do that, but. That seems weird. 
What? Is this the end? It, it, it is. Okay, sure. You know what? I don't even know what just happened and I don't care. So this time he takes a lot. Can I ask a question? You, what makes you happy? I wonder, what makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? So next up we all need Zora. I'm not gonna give away my bunny hood until last, but. You are the fish, fish person? Yes, you are. Gibdo, we'll give him this weird guy. Oh, actually, I spoke to him without. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> without taking off the bunny hood. Whoopsie. Okay. And now this one. This one here is literally just, you gotta know which direction to go. So. Again, I'm doing this even though there's like no enemies in here in this whole area. So pardon me a moment while I make sure I know which direction I'm going. Wow, seems to be as simple as left, left, right, left. All right. Left, left, right, left. These tunnels have very little, uh, very little warning when they're going to change direction. And on you, okay. There we go. There's our heart piece for this area. Oh, but we didn't go the right direction. Yeah, but that's, there's your heart piece, but that's the wrong way. Okay, well. Fine. Left. Right, whoops. Let's just go wherever the current takes us then. Oh, cool, I found him. Okay. <laughs> uh, can't talk to him with mask on. Let's give, uh, let's give away this, this, and this.
the right thing, what is it? I wonder. If you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? Not always. Okay, so at this point, yeah, let's, we gotta pick some masks to get rid of here. Let's get rid of these. As much as I love marching to the tune of the, the Bremen mask. He wants a fourth one. Well, there are no more stray fairies to collect, so... I saved the most useful masks that I have, though. Or at least the ones that I think are the most useful. So this is just a mini boss gauntlet, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think the bunny hood's pretty good too. The bomb mask is pretty good, no doubt about it. But I think the bunny hood and the stone mask are actually really useful as well. And then this is just cool for the boss fight i really i really wish they would let us use the giant's mask elsewhere like seriously like how awesome would it be to use the giant's mask in termina field and just stomp around everywhere it'd be so cool like i think that must be like an idea that they ha must have had when they made this mask but I guess they decided against it. Either way, I feel like these three right here kind of form the the most useful mask core. And this one's just cool. Oh. The giant's mask in MM3D is special somehow? I'll have to look it up. A friend gave me a copy of MM3D, so that should be fun. Ooh, War Cries, you say? Sounds interesting. Okay, so what are we going to really need for this? this guy again my favorite way to deal with this guy is just that oh you gotta go all right Well, I mean, we're almost done. Anyway, thanks for coming, Avalon. You have a good night. All right. Uh, just so you know, um, no stream tomorrow, because I, I need to do some... Uh, 
I need to do some stuff. Uh, I'm potentially getting a new job that's going uh, a new job that's going to keep me busy in the evenings. So I need to. Uh, I'm still going to stream in the evenings, just uh, less days but longer. So I kind of need to prepare for that shift. Um, and I have one question for you. I've been thinking about. I need a. I need a game to keep me busy between now and uh, Ori 2. And I was going to do um, the uh, Mega Man Zero collection, the Zero and ZX collection, but th then that got delayed too, so I need a game that'll keep me busy busy for a couple weeks. Have you played Metroid Prime 3? Or seen it? Because I was just thinking, well, I showed off Metroid Prime 2 for you. Wanna see Prime 3? Then you get a... Yeah, I mean, that's just something to do for a week or two until uh, Ori 2 comes out, because Ori 2 comes out in uh, early March, and I'm super looking forward to that. So, all right. That'll be the next game, then. I'll pull out uh, Prime 3. We'll do a quick run-through, have some fun with it, and you can decide if, uh, decide if you like that one. So no stream tomorrow, and then we'll pick up with Metroid Prime 3 on Friday. You have a good night, Avalon. Yeah. See you later. Good night. Okay. Now to immediately get hit by Garo Master here. And somehow I dodged his spin. I somehow I dodged it again. Oh, I didn't dodge that. Didn't dodge it that time. That's alright though. Oh, I had control during that. Well, that was dumb. Okay, so just to confirm something. The last heart piece seems to be... You get it for free just as a matter of course. You got a bunch of arrows! Yay! Oh no, no, it's in the, uh... Yeah, it's in that one, uh... That one place, it looks like. Okay. So we gotta beat this guy. This guy's not really a challenge. I mean, I'm getting wrecked by him. But that doesn't mean anything. There we go. It's because I'm trying to I was trying to remember how to do the the crouch stab and I couldn't do it for some reason. And then I remembered, oh yeah, that's right, I can't do that while I'm targeting him. Oops. But yeah, like, see, yeah, I can't do it if I'm targeting, so I have to... I was trying to, I was trying to power crouch stab him and got wrecked like four times after saying that he wasn't a problem. Hey, bunch of bomb chews! Perhaps they're hinting at something? Huh. I wonder what they could be hinting at. Oh, that's too far. Perfect. But 
that's surely not it. Come here, get Link. Ladder. Oh my gosh. And it's just as simple as walk through here. Yep. And this is it. That's it. 100% minus. Minus the, uh. Minus the Fierce Deity Mask, that is 100%. We just have to do the Fierce Deity Mask here, and that's that. So I wonder, what happens if you run out of bomb chews in here? Are you just soft locked? Oh no, because you can use the... You're not soft locked because you can use the... Uh, I think you can use... Oops. Oh no, that worked. Yeah, you can use the uh, stone there to warp back, I believe. But then you'd have to do this whole thing over again. So that's not good. All right. Okay. Oh man. Now I have to give up my best masks. How unfortunate. I assuredly don't want to do it, but... Let's see what else... Let's see what else they say. Your true face, what kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? Deep philosophical thoughts. However, we are here to enjoy the game, so we'll leave those thoughts aside and what shall I do? Eh. I mean, I'll... this off do like that even though that's not going to matter okay hi there Majora Let's play good guys against bad guys. <laughs> Who's the bad guy? You got the fierce deities mask. Could this ma could, could this mask's dark power be as bad as Majora? Try it on with C. I will. You're the bad guy. When you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Now see, where did Majora get this mask, and why is he giving it to us? Yeah. 
Anyway, here it is. The mighty fierce deity's mask. And now we are Adult Link. We drink milk like a boss. And now... We are the boss! With infinite magic. This is going to be fun and undoubtedly therapeutic. Can I power crouch stab to release these? Ugh. Oh no, I can't. I actually. Oh, actually, I sort of can. What else you got? What was that you were saying? If you're bad, you just run? Well, look who's running now. Thank you for finally locking on, Tattle. <laughs> I always thought that was an interesting idea. Like the idea of uh, Majora being a heart. And it just, like, beats harder and harder to pump up Majora's body to make it stronger. But anyway. Easily crushed. Probably shouldn't have given us that mask, Majora. That was probably a bad idea. And finally, Creepy Moon gets destroyed in a burst of rainbow energy. Stretching out across the horizon. <laughs> For some reason to zoom in on that guy going ka <laughs> dawn of a new day and that weird observatory is still there Swear, I swear that telescope will always make me mad whenever I see it, because it shouldn't work. Meanwhile, the giant's somehow standing in town without crushing anything, so we assume.
titans clipped through the walls and definitely didn't crush anybody. Friends are nice to have. <laughs> ah. Same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods, huh? Gee, I wonder why. Shouldn't you recognize me? Meanwhile, the Time Lord slash Dimension Lord. <laughs> who just instantly transitions to whatever pose he wants. in the creepiest manner possible. Also that Mario mask on the back on the on his backpack. And then fade away. And all of this coming back around to Link was searching for Navi this whole time. Why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to get to. Ha! Still a little rude, I see. <laughs> Aw, but she actually misses us. Somehow Link is going to ride his horse through those narrow corridors we came through to get back to Hyrule, I guess? Even though that shouldn't be possible, but I don't know. Meanwhile,
And of course... That's actually really awesome. The song we just got... The song we just learned in order to get the heart piece... Ended up being... The credits song. I totally didn't realize that on my first playthrough. Nice. Thanks to our heroic efforts, all's well that ends well in, ter in Termina, it seems. The postman is free. <laughs> that's the that's the that's important enough to get a whole screen, right? Sing the musicians did their thing, the dancers did their thing, and now here's the fairies doing their thing, I guess, in the void somewhere. Hey, look at that. You give her some actual arrows and she's a really good shot, as it turns out. Good job, Romani. You hit those targets. We save. We save those two. I'm getting robbed by Sakon. Who, by the way, isn't in this, I think. This poor guy. Always a poor guy. For some reason. This crazy dude with his song. Actually drawing a crowd with it. I mean, Song of Storms is pretty good, though. And the happy family who lives in the cursed land of Ikana. Because <laughs> we saw the- we already saw the ghosts are still around. And of course, the happiest moment of all, the lovely wedding at the end. Even see, even Tingle's crying. And releasing confetti. Anju finally gets her coffee. But we don't get to see him. Yeah. Not all is well, but... All is as it should be. Sad ending for the butler, though. Unfortunately, that happened before the three days. So, there wasn't anything we could do about it. And meanwhile... Link returns to Hyrule. Having made a bunch of new friends.
I guess Link drew this? And of course, Soraya's song. The song our friend originally taught us. That we eventually taught to Skull Kid. To tie it all up perfectly. Now see, I'm not sure, yeah, like, this ending doesn't really imply that Link ever found Navi. Or at least not that I can see. But so I've read, somehow it is implied he did find a Navi eventually. But anyway. Ugh. Okay. So this is the part where I'm not sure. Did I have to reset the console from here? I don't know. I'll give it a second. <sighs> anyway so this has been a fun experience 100 percenting the game uh i don't think it's a, an experience i'll ever want to do again uh thanks to that shooting gallery nonsense although to be fair i mean i guess it it took me a long time to get used to it but now that i am used to it i could like if i wanted to i could probably do another 100 percent run like right now and it wouldn't be so bad probably do it a little better but honestly I, I feel no desire to do so i feel like this run was was uh was reasonably good like I, f I feel like this was a good fun run and i feel no real need to go through it all again um i i enjoyed it it wasn't Honestly, 100%ing this game was very intimidating to me at first. Like, just given what I knew about it being definitely harder to 100% than Ocarina. And, like, the shooting gallery thing, and, like, the I thought the jumping, the, the jumping to different platforms minigame that we didn't at the end of this uh, stream here. Well, towards the middle, actually. To get the last heart piece uh, on Termina... I thought that was going to be harder, like, just in general, and, like, like the, the Lovers minigames were kind of difficult at first. So, I was a little bit intimidated to try and 100% this game, but I'm glad that I did it. It turned out to be not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Really, only the shooting gallery thing was bad. Um... I guess I do have to reset it manually. I guess, because it's not doing anything. Anyway, I had lots of fun. And now... Yep. It saved our game. We have everything. Here we are. Now we have the Fierce Deity's Mask. Along with all the other masks. True 100% achieved. Now, just because it bothers me to not have full hearts, I'm going to go ahead and collect that. I have full magic, so 
I'm good on that front. I have full everything now, so... We've got the maximum upgrades that we can have. The Gilded Sword, everything. Everything there is to have, we have, so... All right. One last time. The Song of Time, and then that's gonna do it. Well, I mean, if I could play the Song of Time correctly. I can't play the Song of Time, guys. My brain is not letting me do it for some reason. There we go. Tried to be epic and just produced an epic failure instead. That's okay. Uh, my brain sometimes just decides it doesn't want to work. But anyway... That's gonna do it, guys. Thank you for joining me, Avalon and uh, Hyper, and everybody else who came and watched. I greatly appreciate having you guys around to, to chat with and hang out with. I will see you all for Metroid Prime 3 on Friday. Good night, everybody. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is where most people tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. And while I would appreciate you doing all that, if you enjoyed my content, come check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash trinfinitex so you can watch and chat with me while I make these. I'm a family-friendly streamer, so everybody's welcome. Throw me a follow on Twitch and Twitter so you can get notifications when I go live. Links will be down in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to meeting you.